Okay, so starting off with here, as you can see, I have a lot of products. And if you didn't know this, and you probably don't, I'm Jamaican Indian, so I'm mixed, and that means I have a bunch of hair products to use. So let's go through this. So the first thing I have is this Beach Babe sea salt spray to use during the summertime, and it doesn't really work on my hair just because it's so thick and it makes it really sticky. So now I just have a whole bottle of this stuff. And then I have another Not Your Mother's Naughty to Nice Detangling Spray. I have Bed, not Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works Body Spray. And then some more straightening hair products. And then um, dry shampoo and another dry shampoo. Some nail polishes that I don't really use. Um, this cream that my sister gave me is called Twisted Sista. And it's, it's a curl activator for curly hair. And then I also have this suave leave-in conditioner, more dry shampoo, um, shower gel, and then I have another Not Your Mother's Smooth Moves Frizz Control Hair Cream. And then I have this olive oil lotion, which actually works really good. And it's not, it does not smell like olive oil. It smells really nice, actually. And then I have this, which I use all the time. It's this biotin and collagen amplifying lotion for hair. And it's supposed to just like thicken it up and stuff. And it smells really nice. And the consistency is pretty cool. And then I have hand sanitizer, this Indian hemp hair that I use on like the baby hairs. So they can just be healthy so yeah my deodorant um cocoa radiant vaseline and then more deodorant and some more sprays so yeah this is stuff that i use for my the number one product that i do use is this moroccan oil by garnier fruities and let me tell you moroccan oil argan oil is gonna be your best friend Okay, now moving over here to my hair, like, utensils, I guess. This is my Michelle Mercier, or Michael Mercier, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Um, my Michelle Mercier hairbrush that I use to brush my hair. I have some, I have some more, what's this called, makeup palettes, which is really dirty. This is by The Body Shop, and this is just kind of like... Uh, natural neutral palette yeah then I have this me makeover essentials palette and then this palette was the first palette I ever got ever in my life when I was like 10 years old and this is just a lip palette and then I have another eyeshadow palette which is the first eyeshadow palette I ever ever got that was a lip a lip palette uh, this is, this, blah, 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 I don't know what I'm saying this is an eyeshadow palette and as you can see it is disgusting looking I don't use it anymore but because of my first palette I ever got I kept it and then I have this um I forget what it's called this Estee Lauder, Lauder palette and then some like hair ties and then headbands and stuff like that. So yeah, I have this all in this pink little bin that I got from the dollar store. Moving over here now, this is where the real makeup is. So over here in this little stand, I have, um, it just says sparkle on it. I have my Naked 3 palette and you guys have seen this like a million times if you watch my Get Ready With Me videos. You guys know that like I use this all the time. And then over here is all of my makeup. So I've collected a lot of makeup over the years. So here we go. So over here I have all of my brushes. And uh, yeah, I have a blush brush, I believe this is. Um, a contour brush. Another contour brush, but this one's better. This one's by e.l.f. And then I have these little razors to use to shape my eyebrows because sometimes like if I don't get my eyebrows done and I'm broke, then I use this to kind of just shape them a little bit. And then I have a bunch of eyeshadow brushes, uh, my concealer brush that I use, not like my powder brush, my concealer powder brush, there you go. And then some more eyeshadow brushes, this eyebrow brush to brush out your eyebrows. Um, and then I have a bunch of... I have my pencil eyeliner and my liquid eyeliner from Maybelline. And by the way, most of my brushes are from e.l.f. as you can see. And then I have this flat brush that I use for my eyebrows and just 
a bunch of stuff. Over here, it's kind of like my miscellaneous area. I have this eyebrow, um, this eyebrow filler and brush, but it does not match me. So, yeah. And then I have an extra mascara because I thought I needed new mascara and it turns out I didn't need I didn't need mascara so I just have an extra an extra one. I have Maybelline Baby Skin which I don't really use because it actually makes my skin kind of oily. So yeah, and then I have regular mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies mascara in the waterproof version. That's my favorite mascara. I use it all the time. I also did forget to mention that I just recently got this like beauty blender blending makeup sponge to use to blend any like concealer or foundation on my face. Over here in this top section, this is where my most used products are. So now we're going to go through this. So first I have my... Ooh, this is my Ulta Double Duty Lip Stain in this light pink color, and I like to use this over the summertime because it's really pretty for that. And then I have a bunch of lipsticks from Maybelline. This is from Maybelline. This is their Color Whisper in Berry Ready, and this is a nude lipstick from Maybelline. I have this L'Oreal lipstick that is in the color True Red, and this is a lip lacquer from Maybelline, and this is just a purple color. And then I have this Ulta mascara that is in Super Stretch. And I have a Tarte, I believe this is. Yeah, a Tarte mascara. So these are the products that I usually use, like, as lip color-wise. Cool part. Here is my face products. So I have this foundation that my sister gave me because me and her are kind of like the same color. So this is a Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush. But this, this foundation... This foundation is okay. It actually has some sparkles in it, which makes your face look all sparkly. And we don't want that look. So, yeah. And then next, I have this Magic Nude. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see that. It's a, like, foundation powder or something like that. You can just apply this to your face and you can, like, literally just, like, walk out the door or whatever. I have my powder that I use that I'm desperately running out of and looks disgusting. And I have this BB cream by Garnier, which I don't really use. The concealer, a e.l.f. primer, which I really, really like. And then this spot treatment thing from Philosophy. And I just threw it in here because it has to do with the face. Next, um, this is the drawer that I like the most because this is all my loose eyeshadows. So yeah, here are all my loose eyeshadows. So the first thing I have is my Wet n Wild eyeshadow. I just recently got this and I'm obsessed with this middle black color because it's so pigmented. And I also like this gold slash gray color. Um, so then I have, like I said, my loose eyeshadows. I still have this pink eyeshadow from Maybelline. And then I have these two loose eyeshadows from L'Oreal. I have this one that is the Crystal Eyeshadow Ombre. One and it just has a dark brown and a light beige color and then I have a metallic eyeshadow from L'Oreal and this is in a dark purple and a light pink. Next I have this NYX gold eyeshadow which is a cream. This cream eyeshadow I don't really use just because I don't use very pigmented gold cream eyeshadows like this. Next I have... It's a Avon eyeshadow, also another cream eyeshadow that's in the silver color. I have this very, like, natural brown color um, from Avon, and it's another eyeshadow. My go-to, well, not go-to, but my favorite eyeshadow is this Milani one. I don't know the color, unfortunately, but it's this really pretty, like, gold brown color, and this, this camera is not doing justice. Oh, well. The Body Shop Eyeliner. It has like a light blue and a dark blue. Not gonna... The sample size of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I have this super small Ulta eyeshadow. Uh, this is called Smokey. This is a Smokey Eye eyeshadow palette. And then I have this NYC eyeshadow palette that has orange and yellow. And I have another eyeshadow palette which has a green eyeshadow I think in it. I have an Ultra Eyeliner. Um, that's by Maybelline and it's waterproof. And then I have this mascara. This is the Rocket Volume Express Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. Another, like, gray 
eyeshadow palette by The Body Shop. These are the first two loose eyeshadows I ever, ever got. This came with this. I have this eyeliner that is in a greenish, silverish color. And then another um, sample size mascara. So that is what is in this draw. Let's go in. Okay. Then the last draw is all of my lip products, except for this. This is not a lip product. But all of my lip products. Like, how many shades of the same color do I need? Oh, I actually have this eye makeup remover by the brand Simple that my sister gave me, just left over that she had because she had too much. So she gave it to me. So I kind of just stuck it in there. So. I have this Plump Glass Lip Gloss by Bath & Body Works that my friend gave me a long time ago. I have this Stila Lip Glaze. This Mary Kay Lip Gloss that has like a brown color and clear in it. So I guess like when you squeeze it out, um, it's like brown and clear. And I never used it before, so who wants free lip gloss? I have this go-to lipstick that I wear like usually all the time is a Maybelline lipstick matte lip balm there you go and it's by Revlon and the color shade I don't know why my camera is so blurry um the number is 205 and then I have this Victoria's Secret lip gloss my favorite lip balm this is my Nivea lip butter which I use all the time to moisturize my lips anyway and then I have another one of those lip la lip lacquers, which is in this pink color. It actually looks more like nude on camera, but it's more of like a pinky color in person. So yeah. And then I have this, which I use during the summertime. This is my Neutrogena lip lip smoother in Sheen, and it's like it makes your lips cool feeling, and it smells like summertime, which is nice, and it moisturizes, which is nice. So yeah. And then over here, I have all of my hair ties and hair clips and stuff like that, which is nothing simple, and it's just in this little heart teacup. So, yeah, and then loosely on my dresser, I have my eyelash curler, and I usually just plop it right there because, yeah. So, once again, here's an overview of my makeup collection slash get ready with me section, and I usually use some of this makeup i don't use like all of it all of it because it's not like i'm going out every day but yeah there is my makeup